Good morning. This is ENS 161, Statics of Rigid Bodies, uh, Module 1, Introduction to Statics. Welcome to the first module of this course. So for this uh, first lesson, we will be discussing the fundamental concepts and principles of um, statics. What are the units and dimensions involved in uh, problem solving and also the methods of uh, solutions. By the end of this module, you should be able to define the concepts and principles of statics, identify units and dimension used, and also learn the methods of uh, problem solutions or how you solve a uh, static problem. So what is mechanics? Mechanics can be defined as the science which describes and predicts the condition of rest or motion of bodies under the certain action of. So uh, mechanics is divided into three parts. That is rigid bodies, which is yung ENS 161 deformable bodies, that is um, CVE. 155 and fluids that is uh, mechanics of fluids so that is yung ano natin yung um, hydraulics so um since we are on rigid bodies rigid bodies is also divided in, into uh subdivided into statics and dynamics where statics uh is uh dealing with bodies at rest and dynamics or yung dynamics uh, we will be taking this up on ENS162 so dynamics of uh, uh, moving bodies or bodies at motion so uh, we will, uh, our subject is all about statics so that is under rigid bodies of the mechanics so what uh, a rigid body is a combination of large number of particles occupying fixed positions with respect to each other. So, uh, uh, speaking of static or rigid, so it is a body that is at rest or not moving. So, yun yung um, uh, prince, uh, uh, idea about uh, under statics or statics of rigid bodies. Okay. So the fundamental concepts or basic concepts used in mechanics are space, time, mass, and force. Um, the concept of space is associated with the notion of position of point P. So uh, space uh, pertains to the uh, position, uh, the origin or coordinates of A particle and then so to, uh, to define an event so it is not sufficient to indicate only the position but also the time of that uh, event so how fast how slow so going on you um, a concept about time so um, the concept of mass is used to characterize and compare bodies on the basis of certain fundamental mechanical experiments. So um, two bodies of the same mass, for example, will be attracted by, by the earth in the same manner. So they will also offer the same coexistence to a change in translational motion. So if they have the same mass, but if they have different mass, so there are also different effect and results. So for, for the force, a force represents the action of one body to another. So it can be exerted by actual contact or at a distance, as in the case of gravitational forces and magnetic forces. So, a force is characterized by its point of application, its magnitude and direction. So, um, example, you touching a particle. So, at what uh, point you are touching the particle? How strong or what is the magnitude uh, force uh, of force you are exerting on that particle and on what direction? So. A force is represented by a vector. So, uh, further, ma discuss natin and kung ano yung um, vector. 
Okay, so the study of elementary mechanics rests on six fundamental principles based on experimental evidence. First is the parallelogram law for the addition of forces. This, uh, this uh, law states that two forces acting on a particle may be replaced by a single force called the resultant obtaining by drawing the diagonal of, a par of the parallelogram which has sides equal to those of uh, equal to the given forces. So if uh, particle A is subjected to um, forces uh, P and Q, so you can add or substitute uh, forces P and Q as uh, R as the resultant by drawing a, a parallelogram. So this is a parallelogram. So this is the resultant of P and Q. So uh, we'll be discussing this um, uh, in detail sa mga following na modules. Next is the principle of transmissibility. The principle of transmissibility states that the conditions of equilibrium or motion of a rigid body will remain unchanged. If a force acting at a given point of, uh, of the rigid body is replaced by a force of the same magnitude and same direction but acting at different point provided that the two forces have the same line of action. So if you have this particle subjected to force F at this point or, or, or point of application and this uh, direction, so substituting this with uh, force F prime at different location but within the line of action, same direction and magnitude, uh, the rigid body will, will remain unchanged or the effect of force F applied on this uh, point will be equal to the uh, effect of the uh, force F prime on this location given that uh, they, have the, they have the same line of action or direction and magnitude. So that is the force of transmissibility so parang ano parang uh, you pushing the box from the uh, from behind or you pulling the box from up front so parang ganun yung principle of transmissibility so it has the same effect next is the newton's three fundamental laws so on physics familiar kayo sa uh, fundamental laws of uh, ni uh, Sir Isaac Newton. So first is first law. So if the resultant of force acting on a particle is zero, the particle will remain, will remain at rest if it is originally at rest or will move with constant speed in a straight line if originally in motion. So so for example, parang ano, parang meron box, then on the other side, I will push that box, and also meron kasama, uh, he will also push that box on the other side. So if we exert the same effort, effort, uh, the for the resultant force acting on that box will be zero. So that um uh, particle or that object will remain at rest, of course. So Kasi pag hindi balance yung force, so uh, the lower force na applied, yun yung direction where magmove yung box. So, but if the resultant is zero, acting force is zero, so the particle will remain at rest. Second law, if the resultant force acting on a particle is not zero, the particle will, ha will have an acceleration proportional to the magnitude of the resultant and direction of this resultant force. So that is, the formula for this is force is equal to the mass multiplied by the acceleration. So, yan yung second law uh, of uh, Newton's second law. So, third law is the forces of action and, and reaction between bodies in, in contact have the same magnitude same line of action and opposite sense. So, uh, in that way, ma-retain yung uh, rigid body. 
So uh, it is an action reaction. So if you uh, is pu uh, pushing against a wall at the say at, at this uh, uh, magnitude of force and direction, the wall is also exerting a force opposite. Uh, to your uh, application but with same magnitude and same line of action so that is the third law last is the newton's law of gravitation so this states that two particles of mass m and m are mutually attracted with equal and opposite forces f and negative f so a particular case for this is that of the attraction of earth on a particle located on its surface so the force f exerted by the earth on the particle is, is then defined as the weight uh, w of, of, of the particle so it is a uh, parang uh, force of attraction so um siguro familiar with science no nga na uh, the earth is attracting the moon and also the moon is attracting uh, has a force of attraction to the earth so that that is why uh, moon is hindi siya uh, tumatapon so merong force of attraction between them so that is same also for us uh, na nandito sa uh, ibaba ng earth but uh, we cannot feel the force uh, we cannot feel our force of attraction to the earth kasi malakas yung force of, tra of attraction ng earth sa uh, atin so that is why uh, this formula is um, considered so weight is equal to the mass multiplied by the gravitational um, pull ng earth sa uh, body natin or sa particle so um, we, will be the, we will be further discussing this sa mga uh, following modules now moving to the systems of units so there are two systems of units usually so First is the inter international system of units or SI units and the um, English units. So SI units. So the base units are the uh, are the units of length, mass, and time. So they're called uh, respectively as uh, length, uh, meter for length, kilogram for mass, and seconds for time. So if you have a block with mass of one kilogram moving at a at an acceleration of one meter per second squared so the force applied there is one newton so one newton so it's a conversion one newton is one kilogram multiplied by one meter per second squared so that is one kilogram meter per second squared so that is one newton so also if that mass of one kilogram is um, uh, with respect to its weight so uh, weight is uh, mg, so that is mass multiplied by gravitational acceleration. So one kilogram multiplied by 9.81. So uh, 9.81 is constant. So this is a constant gravitational acceleration due to uh, gravity. Is 9.8181 meter per second squared. So the weight of a one kilogram uh, mass of uh, block of mass is 9.81. Newton. So that is the force uh, of attraction of Earth to this um, uh, one kilogram mass of block. So yun yung uh, weight. So magkaiba yung weight and mass. So next is US, US customary units. So these units are respectively foot or for the length and pound for mass and seconds still second for time. So if you have a mass of one slug that is one pound, one pound uh, uh, second squared per feet. So that is a, a force of one pound at a uh, one feet per second squared na acceleration so force is equal to uh, mass times acceleration so one pound so ito yung conversion ng uh, slug so same also for the um, weight so uh, 
the conversion of the 9.81 meter per second squared SI units na uh, acceleration due to gravity is equal to 32.2 feet per second squared in English units. So, pareho lang sila but uh, depende sa units. So, uh, but for uh, this course, we will uh, mainly use uh, SI units. no? So, mas uh, familiar tayo sa SI units compared to US customary units. Method of problem solution. Um, you should approach a problem in mechanics as you would approach an actual engineering situation. So, um, all engineering pro uh, problems are meron siyang corresponding na engineering situations. So, by drawing on your own experience and intuition, you will find it easier to understand and formulate the problem. Once the problem has been clearly stated, however, there is no place in its solution for your particular fancy. So, um, the solution must be based on the six fundamental principles or on theorems derived from them. So, um, in solving engineering problem, it is, you are following a uh, method in solving that problem. So, wala kang, walang, uh, hindi siya, hindi mo siya sasagutan based on your own understanding, but uh, based on the six fundamental principles or the theorems derived from them. So, yung mga na-discuss natin kanina. So, every step taken must be justified on that basis. So, yung may mga condition na kailangan mo imit, like, um, for a uh, body to be rigid, the summation, the acting forces or the resultant force acting on that body must be equal to zero. So, if not equal to zero, meaning hindi siya rigid. So, strict rules must be followed, of course. After an answer has been obtained, it should be checked. So, you will not stop pag may sagot ka na. So, you will check your answer if tama siya or hindi. Then, also, to, uh, uh, before you solve a problem, the statement of a problem must also be clear and precise. So, um, it should have a, uh, a factual or um, parang ano, uh, tama yung given nung problem na yun. Yung binibigay niya na situation. So, uh, um, determinate siya or possible siya na engineering problem. Okay, so those are derived from these references. So, that's it for the introduction of um, statics of rigid bodies. So, for the next module, we'll be starting with the um, problem solving now. So, um, starting with the uh, first two principles, I guess, the uh, parallelogram law and principle of transmissibility. So, uh, I want you to review on that in advance para sa next module natin, hindi na kayo mahirapan. Hindi na kayo medyo mahirapan. Okay, so that ends our module 1. So, thank you for listening and have a good day.